So I was just going through and I was updating the Blender version and the Flamenco Render Manager version in our office and I realized there weren't pretty much any tutorials on setting up a Render Manager on YouTube. So I decided why not sort of show this process and create a little walkthrough so that if you're also interested in setting up a Render Manager, you can do it too. Now render managers are super, super useful, whether you're just a single creator or a massive production house, they're sort of uses across the board there. It allows you to queue up sort of multiple renders, which is super useful. So you can go to sleep at night and you don't have to wake up and change them over. And if your computer crashes, you can make it sort of restart a render, which is super nice. And then of course, if you've got a bunch of computers, you can make them all work together and then spit out your renders super fast. We're primarily a Blender studio, so it makes sense for us to use Flamenco, which is built by Blender as a render manager for Blender. So yeah, it makes loads of sense. But yeah, super cool, so let's get cracking. So I'm gonna start off by setting it up for one computer and then I'll show you how to set it up for multiple computers. If you are using multiple computers, you will need some sort of shared storage system, something like a Synology or just network attached storage. Um, but yeah, we'll get into that later. So the first thing you need to do is download Flamenco, of course. Um, so if you just type in Flamenco Blender, you'll be able to find that's so the first link on Google. I will also put all the links down in the description. Yep, so if you hit download and then just grab the latest, well, Windows version, if you're on Windows or Mac or Linux or whatever. Uh, so I'm just gonna grab that. So once you've downloaded that, you're gonna have a zip folder in your downloads folder uh, with Flamenco 3.5 in it or whatever version you've downloaded. Now, if you have multiple computers and a shared storage, you're going to want to extract this into your shared storage. And if you've just got one computer, then you just want to extract this somewhere onto your computer. So just stick it on your desktop or wherever is neat. Because I have multiple computers, I'm gonna copy this onto my network. So I'm just gonna grab this network drive here. And inside my network drive, I've already got some Flamenco versions here. I'm gonna keep those because I might need those if I'm rendering out some old projects, but I'm gonna create a new one for this version of Flamenco. So Flamenco 3.5. So I'm just gonna double click on that, grab all these files, Control C, Control V, copy those across. And yes, I've got all these files now extracted onto my network storage. All you're going to want to do is double click on the Flamenco Manager and click Run on that. And that's gonna start up this batch file on Windows. And it's also gonna pop open this lovely setup assistant, which is super useful. So it'll just give you a little welcome window with a few sort of definitions and overview of how it works, uh, but we don't really need to read that. So let's just click, let's go. Now, this is where you want to point Flamenco to your shared storage. If you're working on just one computer, you'll just wanna point it to a folder somewhere. Again, you can put that inside the Flamenco folder or wherever on your desktop. Because I'm using multiple computers, I want to point this to my shared storage, which for me, I've mapped as this Y drive here. So I'm just gonna copy this here, which just points it to the whole directory. I paste that in there uh, and then click next. So on this step, Flamenco wants to be pointed towards which Blender version you're using. If you're using one computer, you can just click on the Blender version that it's detected and click next. But if you're using multiple computers, you ideally want them all running the same Blender version because if one has Blender 3.5 and one has Blender 4.1, they're gonna render the frames differently and you're gonna get this horrible flickering. This is also true if a computer has a certain add-on and then the other one's missing that add-on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy my Blender version from my computer here onto the network drive. And then I'm gonna point this towards that file so that every computer will read the Blender off the network file. So it's already told me where my Blender version is um, and you should be able to find yours here too if you've also installed your Blender to the default directory. So I'm just gonna copy this path here and just paste it in here. And this is my Blender version. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna copy my Blender from my local drive onto the network drive. So your add-ons are actually kept in a different location to your Blender file, so we need to copy those across as well. On Windows, if you type in percent app data percent into your start menu, it's gonna bring up your roaming folder. If you just jump down into Blender Foundation, Blender, and then you can see here we're using Blender 4.1. There's gonna be a config and scripts file in there. And then all you're going to want to do is just copy those into the 4.1 folder of your 
Blender, which we copied over to the network storage. Now, if I open this Blender folder up on a, another computer, it's gonna open this Blender version 4.1, and it's gonna look in here for all your add-ons. So that'll just prevent any weird flickering issues where you have different Blender versions, different add-ons or anything, because they're all looking in the same place and loading the same Blender, which is super useful. Cool, so once that's copied across, I can go into that file on the network storage, right click on the Blender executable, and click copy as path and then I can paste that in there. So whenever I render with Flamenco, it's gonna open the Blender version here. Ah, you're just gonna to want to delete those quotation marks there as well. And then press next. And it's just gonna check if that's a Blender version it can run, which hopefully it should be fine with. And yeah, that seems to have worked. So I'm just gonna click next. And that's just gonna summarize and double check. It's pointing to my Y network drive and then it's going to be pointing towards the Blender, which I put inside the Y network drive inside the Flamenco folder as Blender 4.1. So just click confirm there and it's gonna restart your Flamenco. Now you've got the Flamenco render manager window, which is super cool. It's currently saying inoperative because there's no workers. So we can quickly sort that out by going here back to the Flamenco folder and double clicking on Flamenco worker and then just hitting run. And then as you can see there, the farm status has gone from inoperative to idle. Uh, and if I make that full screen and I click on workers, you can see that there's my PC is there. It's running Flamenco version 3.5 and it's ready to go. Now to actually add things to the queue, we're gonna need the Blender add-on, which conveniently it has put right here. So I can just click get the add-on, which is nice and I can just keep that. And then there's the Flamenco add-on. So now if I start up Blender, and here is Blender, and I just go into Edit, Preferences, and Add-ons down here, and click Install, and then go to Downloads. I should just see the Flamenco add-on that I've just downloaded, and I just click Install add-on. And you can see there, uh, it's installed the Flamenco add-on. So I just need to check that there. Now, what I need to do is I need to point this Flamenco add-on to the Flamenco manager URL, which again, conveniently, if I go onto the manager, you can see it's actually up here in the search bar. So all I need to do is grab that address there, copy that and paste that in there. And then it's gonna say Flamenco version 3.5 found. So it's automatically found as well the shared storage that I set up earlier. If yours is not there, you can just click this little file here and then just direct it to wherever you set up earlier in the setup stage. But hopefully that will just be correct. Cool, so once that's installed, uh, just close down Blender and reopen it just so it updates everything. Uh, and then now we're ready to submit something to the render manager, which is super fun. I've got a nice spinning cube, fun times. So once you've set up all your render settings, how you like it to be, uh, yeah, it's time to render. So you just go into the output properties, you scroll down and you're gonna see this from Flamenco Free. So currently there's no job name and that's because we've not saved the file. So we need to save the file onto our network storage so that all the computers can read this. Uh, so I'm just gonna do file save as. And then just for now, I'm gonna store it next to my Flamenco thing here. So just do test project and I'm going to go into that and just save that there test project if I click save as you'll see that the job name has automatically populated so that's good um, you'll see there's a priority setting here and this just lets Flamenco choose which one to render first so as it says there higher numbers will get a higher priority so if I set that to 100 it's going to render before something with a priority of 50 uh, but I'll just leave it there for now. And then I just want to select a job type. So I'm just gonna click simple blender render and you can see there it's set the number of frames to the scene range, which is cool. And then I need to set the chunk size. Uh, now, if it's set to one, it's essentially going to split this file up into 200 render chunks, which means that the computers are gonna open the blender file, render one frame and then close the blender file, which is quite inefficient because there's a lot of opening and closing of the blender file. If I set this to 200 and press render, it means that one computer is gonna open up the blend file, render 200 frames and close it. But if I've got five computers, this isn't gonna be great 
because one of them is going to render 200 frames and all the others are going to render zero. I find that a sweet spot is usually like 10 to 15. So I'm just going to set that to 15. And then I need to choose where I want my files to go. So I'm just going to click this little folder here. And then I'm going to point this to the same place that I have my project file. So I just go inside my test project file here and click accept. Now all that's left to do is click submit to Flamenco and you'll see that it should hopefully say it's submitted there. So now if I open up the Flamenco manager window, you'll see that I have one active job. It's got the job name, it's got the priority. And as you can see here, it's split it up into 15 frame chunks, which is really cool. And if I click on it, it will, and I click this little arrow in the bottom right, it will show me what it's currently doing. So it's currently on frame four, uh, and it's taking pretty much no time at all to render this scene because it's super simple. And if I go into my file explorer and I go into my project and into my test project, you can see that it has created a folder with the date and it's got the files there, which are now populating, which is really cool. And you can see actually it's completed the first chunk. So it's rendered the 15 frames. It's now closed Blender. It's going to reopen it and it's now rendering the second chunk, which is really cool. And you get a nice little preview there as the frames come out. You can also jump up to here and see a bigger version of that, which is super cool. And you can see I've got my worker there. So the only thing to do now is actually just join more computers onto this uh, and they're all going to simultaneously pick chunks to render. So I'm just going to cancel this job here and I'm going to jump onto another computer on the same local network and set up Flamenco there. Cool, so I've jumped onto another computer in the office now. Uh, so let's set this up so it joins the Flamenco network. Uh, so I just need to go to the shared storage where I've done all the work so far, jump into the Flamenco folder. And now we need to create a very simple batch file, which essentially just opens up the worker and points it towards the IP address of the manager on that other computer I was on. So if we just create a new text document and just call it worker and then just double click on that. So if you just copy this from the video description below and just paste this in and then just change this IP address to your manager, which we saw earlier was up in the search bar, actually, which I can show here. Just to double check that is the right one. You can actually just paste that in there. And it should hopefully also open up the render manager window on the other computer. And that's how you know it's definitely pointing to the right place. So I just need to now save this as a batch file. So just go file, save as, and change it from worker to worker dot bat and save that. And then you can see there it's created this batch file and we no longer need this worker file. So I can just delete that. And now if I double click on this, it's going to open the worker and direct it to the IP address. So if I jump into this now, the, the Flamenco window, you can see that there's now two computers on there, which is pretty awesome. Um, and if I go back into jobs, you can see this one I canceled earlier. I can actually just requeue this. Um, and then what that's gonna do is activate it again. And now you can see I have two computers on the network rendering at the same time. So they both got 15 frame chunks. That's what we set up. So they're now doing that simultaneously. So if I had 15 more computers, we'd be rendering 15 chunks simultaneously. Uh, and of course, if I go into to where I pointed it to render, you can see that those files are populating there as we speak really quickly, which is really awesome. Um, and that's just going to scale infinitely compared to how many computers you got. And uh, you can see that's completed. It's jumped onto the next one and that's perfect. So I've now jumped onto a third computer in the office and all I have to do to get that to join the Flamenco network is double click on that batch file on the network storage. So I double click on worker and you can see there it's connected to the manager and it's now waiting for jobs. So you basically just rinse and repeat, <laughs> double click on worker for as many computers you have in your network. So you can see here I've added four computers so far. So now I'm back on the computer I was earlier. Now say I make a change to this and I want to render it out again. 
say I want to change this to a nice, let's do a glassy color. Why not make it a little rough, make it kind of pinky, why not? So now I've got this sort of glassy cube and I'm just going to cancel this previous job. If I now click submit to Flamenco, you can see that that's going to submit. It's going to list there and it's not going to overwrite the previous exports. So if I jump into the test project where I've set it to export, you can see it creates a different file now with the new render. So it's not overwriting the old ones, which is really nice. Now, if I want to queue up multiple projects, that's super easy. Um, I've got one here, which I want to render out. I'm just going to give it a higher priority because I want it to render out first. Do the steps again. So simple blender render, chunk size 15, give it a render location on the network. And then I can click submit to Flamenco. And then, yeah, if I jump into the manager here, you can see there's two jobs going and you can see it's got a higher priority there and some of the computers have already jumped onto there. And then once it's completed rendering and you can see I've got my frames here, it also really handily sticks together a nice little MP4 file for you to watch your render on, which is super sweet. Uh, and that's rendered out in no time at all. But yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I'll happily answer them in the comment section below. Hopefully that will all work for you. Um, but yeah, set up your render manager and, <laughs> and enjoy yourself some sleep. I know I keep on saying it, but sleep is good. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, catch you in the next one.